This is the computer that I spent the past several months assembling. I built it in the style of the Altair 8800. Inside of this computer there's a CG Color Max 2 computer, there's an Arduino Uno, and there's a small audio amplifier. And of course as you can see on the front there's 12 switches and 8 LEDs. I know the Altair had more, but that's all I could squeeze into this thing. I didn't want to make it too complicated. On the right side, you can see the volume control and the audio output. On the back, there's a power jack, on and off rocker switch. There's USB so that I can console in from my computer. There's a VGA video. There's a PS2 keyboard port. And then there's a 26 pin connector. These pins are programmable and I have some ideas for future projects which can make use of those. On this side, it's just a vent, nothing too exciting. Right now, I have my external power brick connected. This will make things easier for our demonstration here. So I will turn the unit on now. So now I'll do a simple math problem to demonstrate. I'll deposit two. Now I'll deposit 16. This gives us a sum total of 18. Now I'll do an example of subtraction. I will change this to subtract mode and I will subtract 6. So I'll deposit the 6 on top of the 18. It gives a result of 12. I just plugged in my keyboard and screen and this is the debug output. As I flip these switches you can see these values change. In addition to the sum total and the number that's currently stored based on the value of these switches. If I push control C I can exit this program. And if I type CLS I can clear the screen. Now I'll try to type in a different command with my other hand. As I mentioned before, there is an audio amplifier in this device, which means there is sound. I wrote a simple program to test the sound. I'll demonstrate it for you. This program simply plays tones based on what it, whichever key I touch, so I'll try out a few. You're probably wondering, are there any computer games I can play on this? Uh, indeed, there are a few. I'll demonstrate one right here. This is a Pac-Man clone called Max-Man. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how this turned out. I'm thinking about building an add-on that may involve the rear pins. I did see a guide on the official website for the CG Color Max 2 that you can connect an Atari joystick, and it will work with that game I just showed you.